Hey everybody, so I decided I needed to do another video because it's been a while since I've actually posted one uh, about how things are going for me um, with my spiritual path. Um, I say I'm a lot, I'm so sorry. Okay, so aside from the tattoo video that I uploaded the night I got it because I was super excited about it, I haven't really made any other videos because I've been extremely busy between my own doctor's appointments, taking care of my kids, and my mom's been super duper sick. She's in the hospital. I've just, I've been swamped. So, but I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time now. So I decided I was going to take time for myself tonight one way or another to post a couple videos tonight about a couple things actually. This one is about the element of fire and the other one is going to be all these different signs and reasons now that I've looked back on things and just it's kind of you know like wow this was definitely a calling to me. This was definitely the path I was supposed to go, the route I was meant to take because too many things for it to be a coincidence. Both of these videos, I just feel like the things I mentioned, it's, it's too much to be coincidence. Okay, so basically with this one, what I mean by the element fire, okay, I'm, I've always, my whole life, been drawn to fire and connected to fire. Um, little pyromaniac right here. As a kid, I was in so much trouble, always playing with fire. Always, always, always playing with fire. Um, fascinated by it. And then when I got older, and, you know, teenage, older, I mean, uh, I realized that, you know, oh, Sagittarius, its element is fire. So, my birth sign is the element is fire. Um, then, as far as the little Chinese year thing goes, I was born the year of the dragon. And dragons are connected to fire, and it relates their dragon to the element fire. Um, another thing, too, is that I've always loved dragons. Even without the Chinese zodiac thing, I've I've always loved dragons. I think that they're beautiful creatures. I love the way that they're, you know, they're capable of representing the different elements. I mean, they're most of the time associated with fire, but, you know, you have your swimming serpent-like dragon, you have your earthy dragon, the kind that flies and is associated with air, breathes fire and is associated with fire. You know, I've I've loved dragons so much so that I actually like used to collect them even without knowing any of this stuff uh, that I know now and um, now I realize maybe there was a connection there uh, but yeah they're associated with fire so that's another way I'm connected to fire both the Chinese year I was born in fire my zodiac sign fire the fact that I love them and they're connected to fire. Uh, the other things too, um, aside from being a little pyromaniac connected to fire, um, I've also had a really, really like obsession really with daggers. And of course when I started figuring out more about setting up an altar and all the tools that go to an altar and realized that there is a dagger used in it, and yes, I know it has an actual official name, but I don't want to make an idiot of myself and pronounce it wrong because I know how I pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure I'm screwing it up. <laughs> so I'm just not even going to attempt it. We're going to just call it a dagger. Um, <laughs> but that is my favorite tool. I was so excited when I found out that those are on altars and that that's one of the tools you use. And I was, I've, even before that, I've always loved them. I used to want to get a tattoo. There was this tattoo that I wanted to get for the longest time that was a dagger. And not for like any special meaning other than just that I was super duper obsessed with them and thought that they were pretty. And like, I also, online gamer, I play online games. I'm a nerd, geek, or whatever. Um, and... I always play a rogue 
I mean, if it's if it's not a caster, I'm usually a rogue. And that's mainly because I like the idea of having daggers. I like to use daggers on my game. Um, so yeah, so when I came into this and I realized that there was that tool to be used on an altar and that it's usually associated with fire, that just was like, it hit me, like another thing connected to fire that I am just absolutely in love with and drawn to. Um, so it's like to me that that has to mean something. It's like every single thing I like, everything that I'm connected to in some kind of way, uh, I'm. It's all about fire, and I want to know why. I there has to be a meaning for it. I, there, there's no coincidence in it. It has to be a meaning, and I want to pursue that and find out why. And I want to know what I can do with it too. I mean, there has to be a purpose in it. There has to be a reason why I'm connected to it so strongly. And to me, if I can work with it some kind of way, maybe that's that's maybe that's my strength. Maybe fire is my strength, and that's what I can use to work on and make my stuff more potent. I mean, who knows? And if that's the case, then... I yeah, I, I really want to look into all of that. So, tell me what you guys think. Is there a specific element that you guys are drawn to or connected to the way I am with fire? Um, what were, you know, your reasons and signs that you knew you were drawn to it? Um, or if you can answer any questions, like, what can I do with fire? Like, what kind of things can I pursue with it? Uh, or how can I go about finding the meaning to all of this? Uh, or whatever your opinion is on it. Shoot, you don't even have to direct me in a certain way. Just give me your own straight up opinion. Um, so yeah, that's what this video is about. Element Fire and why I'm so connected to it and how I want to pursue it. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah.